Hello, everybody. First of all, I'm very glad to be here, and thank you very much, all iBox staff, for invitation. So, so uh, Georgia is a small country, and um, with lots of uh, species of birds, but uh, you know there is a, like a, one of the biggest botanic uh, in Batumi, and what makes is uh, such a big amount of birds to fly over the Batumi. This is um, like a greater Caucasian mountains and, um, of the north and the west is a Black Sea and east also like a mountainous regions and birds uh, has a, just one choose to flew directly over the Batumi. And uh, we are counting about um, million raptors every autumn migration. So Trin already mentioned about that in her presentation. And there is a 35 uh, species of migratory raptors. And uh, during the migration, uh, you can see sky like a crowded with um, honey buzzards and most um, high number of migratory birds. There is we can find, find um, honey buzzards and uh, there is a small table from BRC website which I take your data and it uh, highlights again importance of um, uh, Batumi bottleneck and basically there is a 35 different species of raptors and unfortunately with high number of raptors we have a shooting from local community and that there is many things why they do this. And this is like a, some kind of governmental issue, some kind of social economical issue. And uh, for example, governmental issue is just the local government don't want to make any strict prohibition. By the law, it's illegal in Georgia, but it's not under of control. And uh, just common citizens, they take a shotgun on their hand when they have free time and especially uh, people who do not have uh, their job, uh, they, they want to they spend their um, free time. And one best way to have a fun, this is just go over the mountain and shoot the raptors. And this is like, um, on the left is a booted eagle and right hand side is a honey buzzard. And but doesn't matter, they, they shoot all species and all birds. So with shooting, there is a falconing, uh, falconry as well. It's quite popular in the region. And we can surely see hunting, like a, it never, never was a, as a tradition in Georgia. If you ask some Georgians, they can sometimes answering you, yeah, it's, it's Georgian tradition hunting, but in the reality, it, it was never um, like a tradition. It's much more likely like a hobby and modern, modern thing. But uh, falconry, as a, it, it, it sounds Georgian like a bazieri. It's, it's like a old Georgian tradition and um, but now, in modern time, uh, it's also getting dangerous for birds because many um, local falconers, they same time shoot the raptors and sometimes they feed the falcon uh, via another uh, raptor meat. And they held kind of superstition. If they use another um, the raptor as a food, their sparrow hawk or hawk, they think their falcon will be much more aggressive and uh, powerful and things like this. <clears throat> so this is one of the uh, accidents when we find injured bird, because basically, as I mentioned, people are shooting just for fun. Some people also answering my question, why they are shooting raptors, they say, so we, we need to have a meat from raptors. Some of them rarely, but some of them eat uh, raptors. 
but sometimes they shoot and when a bird just drops down somewhere in the bush they cannot find it and uh, it's it's really really cruel but sometimes birds are just um, died without food without water because it has a broken uh, wing and that's so pity and one of them we find this harrier on the field we try to give it help but unfortunately we didn't manage because it has a completely bro broken uh, bones uh, on the on the wing and during the research we choose uh, six different villages along the uh, Black Sea, where is a going um, migration. Uh, but uh, it's not enough because there is a many villages, this is mountainous place and there is a many villages and uh, we could not reach all of them. But we did some additional research like Chorohi Delta. Um, but basically this data, which we collect in 2016, it comes from six um, from six uh, villages. Um, so we counted um, in total uh, 7,000, about 8,000 birds. But I can tell you surely this data it's about uh, because there is a data which we collect and uh, others which we could not to see in other places. So it means there is a much more high number injured and dead birds by shooting than we calculate by uh, our data. And um, uh, like uh, there is a information about uh, birds which is most popular for um, poachers and uh, mostly it's a honey buzzard because it's uh, one of the most common species and basically they use uh, young ones, um, juveniles and they say so this is much more better because it's a um, different, they, they think it's a different species, they don't know it's a just juvenile and they just are mentioning about white plumages of, of raptors and in this case they always try to target um, young juvenile honey buzzards And there is a um, uh, table about places which we have done our research and uh, the most dangerous place for raptors it is um, village Quirike, one of the our um, uh, researching area. Uh, in previous time it was a Sakhalwasho but it's a uh, quite long story when the Batami Raptor count started there uh, program in village Sakhalwasha um, with many reasons I will mention it later shooting it um, reduced and now uh, the same problem is in other villages and we have to work on it to reduce any kind of um, bad accident so now we know problem yeah we have problem of shooting and we have to do something against of that and uh, one of the uh, best way, and I think it's, it's much more effective than others, it's a environmental education. For example, these photos are taken in 2014, when I was first Georgian volunteer with BRC history. I still was a um, bachelor degree student. I was missing my lectures in university, and I was just stay on the watch point. Even I didn't have any uh, English, um, knowledge, I could not speak English, I used to just um, Latin names and it was it was really really hard for me um, but from university my teachers were calling me Aslan where are you what are you doing you are missing the important lectures and you are somewhere in the field but when I came back in my university and explained them so these people are coming in Georgia and they are doing a great job look at this so they were really interested in it and we took our students, biology and ecology students and bring there and uh, share their experience. These photos are taken uh, Sahal Washo, sta station one. And this is one of the kind of um, project. Um, 
which you did. So basically, I work uh, with different organizations, um, with BRC, Sabuco, with some national parks, and uh, it was not just one organization experience for me. This is like a Kintrishi protected area, and I work there as a like director of Kintrishi protected areas friends association and uh, for me i always pointing to make something for young generation for children to give them more information about birds about nature and because it's not well arranged in georgia and um, just when this national parks making the project they just taking uh, young um, students or pupils and just without explanation they have fun. It's also good but uh, kind of training, kind of give them opportunity to uh, observe some birds or plants or others, it's, it's much more better of course and we have to improve this um, in Georgia. Oh. Another, uh, this is a Kolkhati National Park and we made first Georgian um, field trip uh, with girls. It was a com completed uh, just um, just girls, and so we tried to um, explain them importance of uh, Batumi bottleneck, why we have birds there. They they try to um, learn identification methodology and this is a um, uh, organization found in Flora International and there is a, a um, for pupils we made a kind of game about migratory birds and each uh, child, child had a picture of birds and some of them were so I'm, I'm uh, bearded vulture and griffon vulture and they had a, like a kind of task to migrate thing and explain which um, difficulties they had uh, in the during the migration so it was a kind of game and after game we gave them some souvenirs and gifts and ecotourism so many presentations mentioned about um, uh, bird watching, uh, tourism as a conservation, and it's it, it's 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 perfect. It's absolutely um, nice thing to reduce any conflict between human and nature. And life example we have in Sahalwasha, there is a, a BRC team, and um, so local people they don't speak English and they were many times asking me Aslan please tell us what these crazy people are doing every day on the station with huge binoculars and scopes and what they are doing there. and when I was uh, explaining them when this developed like uh, ecotourism in the village they had a, they had a, um, a guests in their um, guest houses, they develop their guest houses and, and instead of shooting they try to earn money. So there we can say probably it still exists a little bit shooting a little bit farther from the village but it's it's really reduced and we have to continue work like this. And there's a, a supporters, uh, our supporters when I was work with them and yeah, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Aslan. Uh, if anyone has.